that bug that for all he say. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Chachudash. We'd also like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone that do good well. And we'd like to say peace and salutations to the Lord's elect, the hopeful elect in the one-third and Lord's will. Uh, these lessons are edifying and exhorting to the sincere sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rachakudash, and the Wadi, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rachakudash. For uh, putting it on our spirit and inspiring us uh, to do this sit down, which it's our weekly camp sit down. Um, and this uh, week we're uh, in Acts chapter 6. As you see the title, the book of Acts, uh, sit down, chapter 6. All right, and make the audio. Which it's our weekly. Okay, the Wadi Abbasan Shai. So we're just going to start off right with uh, Acts 6. It's, it's literally only 15 uh, uh, verses, so it's not too long. Uh, we were going to combine that with seven, but we didn't want to do an extended long so uh this this week sit down won't be too long but lord's will it'll be edifying to you brothers and sisters there's a lot going on um uh, within uh us as a nation and without prophecy um we're seeing everything happen we're seeing uh the book of acts happen and revelations the build up second Ezra 15 16. so a lot of things are happening man you know and it's a beautiful thing and it's comforting uh because in this truth sometimes you may walk around and say things are too quiet but um then when the Lord wants to make some noise, oh, we, we hear about it, okay? So we're going to jump right into Acts 6, and um, I don't want to desire you edified. You got it, brother. All right. <clears throat> now, this is the book of Acts 6 and verse 1, and it says, And in those days when the number of the disciples was, was uh, multiplied. Right, the body of believers, because uh, preaching was going on. Can we get uh, Romans, what's that, 11 and 10? How should they not hear? Gotcha, yeah. You know, so that's what's taking place, just like uh, with you brothers and sisters now. Disciples are being mo uh, multiplied. That's why there was an order. Uh, 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 order went out of the affiliates to, um, you know, uh, pretty much uh, be in contact with your local Great Millstone camp, you know, and uh, to show yourself approved if, you, if you're in the right spirit, if you uh, are in order. Because when we're reading, that's what you had right here. There, there, was, a, there was a camp that was of Yahweh Shai. Okay, mm -hmm. all right, you got it. It's the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 14. It says, how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Yep. And how shall they hear without a preacher? There you go, preacher and also what? Prophesizing, okay? So we're in a time of uh, believers, you know, they could be waking up daily. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We're, we're also uh, mindful about uh, the Lord's elect and the sealing of that. So there's a lot of things that are happening um, right now. And there's a lot of order that's going out. There's the Lord is uh, searching Jerusalem with candlesticks. You know, we keep going into that and we're seeing things. OK, so the best thing to do is to uh, conduct and carry yourself in a sincere manner, especially amongst the, the, the brotherhood. OK, you know, uh, respect rank, you know, respect uh, order. You know, you got the latest uh, hot topic with uh, Hassad, which that just went viral, which is a yeah. scary thing, you know, because you could go viral for two things, good or bad, you know, like a, a viral ass whooping, yeah. you know, a viral uh, victory. Yep. So, you know, it's a scary thing that, um, well, you should look at it that way. Like, oh man, th that, that should show you that the Lord is watching, you know, uh, all of these men that are inspired uh, to correct you, you know, and I always like to say that either Either we're wrong and you're right, or you're wrong and we're right. Right. So that means every if, if Assad is right, which this lesson isn't going to be about him, but it's just a current, you know. But if he's right, that means all of us are wrong. Magog, this, this prophecy, all that's wrong. You got to look at things like that. Um, when, when questions come up and answers are not accepted, it's one or the other. It's either Khan or La'a. Yep. Okay. That's it. And uh, back in Acts 6 and verse 1, and it says, there arose a... A murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews. Now, let me read this. This is, I uh, got the GNT today, all right? This is Acts 6 and 1. Sometime later, as the number of disciples kept growing, there was a quarrel mm. between the Greek-speaking Jews and the native Jews. Mm. See that? So there was an issue. So even back then, you had uh, issues uh, amongst believers, yeah. you know? So this thing isn't just about... You woke up, I woke up, and now uh, we're together. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, we're, the, the key 
the 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 Wayne Brothers oh, yeah, show. The, yeah, TV show. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it, color. Yeah, 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 it's not like that. <laughs> now within the um, within the fold, you'll have a um, uh, brotherhood grow, but um, you'll also have believers that have uh, quarrels amongst each other. Yeah. So we're seeing that right here, and that's also a cut to show you that just because it called them Grecians, I was about to say that. that doesn't mean that they were literally right. uh, Greek. Yep. Which and the real Greek would be Japheth. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yep. But a process of time, the fulfillment of uh, the vision that's spoken about in Daniel 7, mm -hmm. uh, they were calling themselves Greeks because of the uh, Hellenistic, uh, the Hellenizing through King Antioch IV. Mm -hmm. Made it illegal for you to call yourself an Israelite. You said Daniel 7. Mm -hmm. I believe when we talk about it, Daniel uh, 89 or like Daniel 98. I'm referring to the Greek Empire. Oh, excuse me. Right, yeah. Right. Yep. It's a little more. And it says, um, uh, uh, but right, the Daniel 8 specifically goes into the abomination that made desolate. But you use Daniel 7 to identify that empire. Then you use Daniel 8 to show what he was going to do within that empire. Then you read Maccabees to go into full detail of what happened of that prophecy through that empire. Right, yep. So it's very edifying to know, which makes sense why uh, vocab would say the uh, apocrypha is not canon. Because what he's trying to do is disrupt your edification of your now knowledge of what happened to, to you and your people. And it was by their people, yeah. you know, which we believe he's an Edomite, you know. Mm -hmm. And it says, it says, uh, now there uh, now there arose a murmuring mm -hmm. of the Grecians against the Hebrews and it was by their because, their, uh, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Yep, and it says, uh, the Greek-speaking Jews claim that their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of funds. Oh, and you got that now. What come to mind is you'll have, I haven't seen it in a while, but you'll have some uh, women, they'll be like, um, uh, you need to you need to acknowledge the sisters or you know there so there's always yeah. that, so what we're reading is like the comet board yeah you know what I mean this is like what happens on the comet board and then uh, the brothers the elders then order comes and then it gets handled so if you notice when it comes to new believers there's always going to be a rotation of examination with the order of things just like a new brother comes in our camp you're gonna we're gonna kind of he's gonna see how we operate but we, the tempo may change a little bit pertaining to him because he's new. Right. So yeah. this is what's happening right here is we're reading about new believers. So now the elders, the, the, the apostle, apostle Peter, they're going to have to kind of change around what they're doing on a daily basis uh, pertaining to the new believers and their gripe, if you will. Right. You know, and it says, verse two, then the 12 called the multitude See? of the disciples unto them and said, it is not reason that we should leave the word of the most high and serve tables. Right. So he's saying we, we shouldn't stop doing lessons so that we can handle this small problem that you feel you're going through. Right. So what has to take place is elders now have to get other men and that's now going to put them in a position like you're now you're the camp leader. Now this is your office. You got to handle that. Uh, First Corinthians 14. So this is a good read to see how order takes place amongst uh, the body and the camps that are going on behind the scenes. Cause you know, the, what you see is edification, you know? Uh, was that 1 Corinthians 14 and 40? Oh, uh, yes. Really, really quick. This is, uh, which, hey, the, the Corinthians, man, they gave Paul a hard time. They got, they got two letters, <laughs> two books. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 14 and um, uh, 40. It says, let all things be done decently and in order. So with the government being established, uh, as we're reading here and as we're seeing now, there's going to be order applied to keep that government growing. OK, so this is why uh, you have certain brothers that have certain offices where they have great talents, how to handle brothers, new believers. Then you have other brothers that have a talent where they're just sticking to teaching, prophesizing. Yep. It says uh, many uh, members, but one body, uh, many offices, you know. And it says, excuse me, and it says verse two, it says, um, Verse three, excuse me. It says, wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men mm -hmm. of honest report, full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. Right. So at the end of the day, um, what is profitable uh, for the uh, edification is uh, applying men that you see the Lord's dealing with. OK, so you're not just going to put someone that, um, you know, just came in and you now get your officer of. Uh, 50, 50 right you know no 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 you can't do that he's not ready for that and he's not 
He hasn't has the experience. So what that's gonna do is is it's gonna be a soon crash and burn. Yeah. Okay. We don't want to see the crashing and burning. And um, this is what's happening with a lot of these other camps is they get new men and then they prop them up. Case in point, Hassad. You know, you weren't built up right enough to now be carrying yourself on your own. Uh, children left to themselves will become willful. Yep. So it. now he's willful, and what he's gained from that uh, uh, teaching mm -hmm. and leadership, he's now showcasing it uh, outside, okay? Yep. And that's not a good thing. So we are representatives of Great Millstone and the teachings of our elders and apostles through the Holy Spirit. So there's things that could be uh, becoming of you that you shouldn't be doing, yeah. okay? So you have to make sure you're not allowing the ministry to be blamed, yep. okay? Because now it's... Uh, Puffeth up, you know, yep. and that's what he's showing. He, he's prideful. Yeah, oh, know? look at this. Look at this. Second Corinthians 6 and 3 is literally right here. Oh, wow. Yep. It says, giving no offense in anything yep. that the ministry be not blamed. Yep. So the point is where you have to carry and conduct yourself uh, to a manner that you can't now allow Great Millstone to be the reason for your offense. Right. You know, like, oh, that's how you guys operate. Like, no, 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 that's not how we operate, you know? Uh, keep going. And it says... Uh, wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, yep. full of the Holy Spirit mm. and wisdom, mm. whom we may appoint over this business. And, and that's one thing too, you know. Uh, teach now, of course, you, you know uh, you can have knowledge and, and, and you know and wisdom, but ultimately, it's all about the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because some guys don't you know they, you know they teach, but they don't have the Holy Spirit ultimately. Mm -hmm. You know, or, or, or showing fruits of the Holy Spirit. You right. See? Well, that makes me think of this. Some teach of envy and strife. Yeah. And that yep. word strife goes into debate. Oh, wow. You know, quarreling. Yeah. Excuse me, bickering back and forth. No, brother, I just want to know. Right. That, that, and that's not good. That's not edifying, you know? Exactly. It gets nobody nowhere. Amos 3 and 3. Yeah. And two walk together, uh, lest they be agree. Yep. It's, it's become stagnant. You're just circling in the wilderness, mm -hmm. you know? No common ground. James 3 and 16, for where envy and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. So you're bringing folly, confusion through your strife of your uh, constant questioning because you've now applied your study in, in just the aspect of always debating. Right. So that's kind of like hostile. It you is. Know, it, it's like you're, you're constantly uh, questioning something instead of just letting it be. You know? Yes. I got a quick one. This is the book of 1 Corinthians 14. And uh, I started at 32. The point is in 33. It says, And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets, right? So if you're a prophet back in, you know, the ancient time, they're gonna be prophet in this life, you know, just like false prophets, just like two thirds, right? Yeah. Everybody has their lot that that the Lord has put them in, right? Yep. Verse th uh, 33, and it says, for the most high is not the author of confusion. You see, but you know, but Babylon is, Satan is, you know? They wanna see things all in disarray, you know, all in quarrel. Kind of you know? leave everything in the air. Yeah. So, yep. Like just going back, cause we're using current events, the Hassad situation. So when when he left, there you still it just is still in the air. Right. Just yep. like those uh, the debates, you know that whole debate is is it's a really a wicked spirit to be in. Yeah. Like you're 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 just constantly uh, uh, verbally fighting to get mm -hmm. nowhere. Now we verbally fight to defend, not just to debate. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. And it says. But of peace as in all churches of the saints. <coughs> right, all That's camps. It. Can I see that water bottle to show? Yes, you may. You go, bro. Now going. back in Acts 6, and I'll start three from the top. It says, oh, wherefore, brethren, look ye uh, look ye out among you seven men of honest report, mm -hmm. full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom. That's a very important thing in this walk. And that's what um ultimately gives us the inspiration and understanding so that we're not in a debate spirit. Right. You know? Because, uh, oh, matter of fact, what does it say that what the Holy Spirit does is it teaches you all things. So yep. it, it don't mm -hmm. leave you in a, uh, I don't know, maybe, you know? Yeah. This is uh, John 14 and um, 26. It says, uh, but the comforter, which is, so that's another thing too. So you got guys that are not being comforted by this truth, you know? Yeah. If you're questioning a prophecy this late in the game, you're not in a comfortable position, you know? Because... How long would you, brothers and sisters, want to keep hearing these lessons and it's kind of like a, uh, uh, it's not getting you nowhere. Right. So, you know what I mean? Uh, John 14 and 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, 
which is why we get on guys when we hear them roll, uh, roll Christ off their tongue. It says, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I said unto you. See? So at the end of the day, if the Lord doesn't open you up to this, uh, uh, you know, what what can Paul do? What can Apollos do? Is the most right. high that gives an increase at, at the end of the day of the matter. So that's something you need to take up with Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. And if you don't feel otherwise, then you are just coming up in a wrong spirit. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Uh, this is uh, Acts 6 and verse 3. Oh, excuse me, verse 4 it says, But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Yep, and, and work, it says, uh, to the work of preaching. Right. Yep. Like, look, man, we're, we're here to teach, okay? You open you open up the door, quote-unquote Pandora's box, as if uh, when you see an Israelite, go debate them. What you're doing subconsciously is taking a, trying to take away our authority that we are establishing. And now the public's view, it looks, hey, like we could just go up there and debate. Like, that's what vocab yeah. does. Here's 10 things when you see Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. And then now you guys fell into his... Uh, um, uh, gimmicks and antics because you say, oh, de uh, de uh, debate thy cause, uh, uh, give an answer to every man. Right, right. So now you've fallen into this trap instead of leaving it be where, hey, watch those guys, they're going to tell you yeah. and, and, they, and they ain't going to they ain't gonna go back and forth with you, bro. Mm -hmm. They're gonna let you know what it is and that's it. But now what you've done is say, no, yeah, let's, 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 yeah. no, man. No, this thing ain't up for debate, man. Yeah, man. We have a job to do. You know, and that's carnal too. Always debating. Always, mm -hmm. you, why you want to uh, 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 always fight, man? It's fucking carnal, you know. And it says, uh, "But we will give ourselves continually to prayer, yep, and to the ministry of the word." You know, and, and that's what the brothers was doing out there. You know, for example, you know they uh, they were saying that they, they was telling us side like, "Hey, man, we did, the answer is this, and, and that's what's gonna be. We're not here to debate. You know, we we uh, we are here to teach the word of, of Yahweh Shem Al Shai, right?" It's really demonic because you can't even just get a full breakdown in. And then someone's always saying, that's not it. That's what vocab does. No, that doesn't mean that. Man. But you don't tell us what it means, right. but you'll constantly say what it doesn't. So what does that mean for the viewer at home? Mm -hmm. It's like you're disrupting the meal. Like you're yeah. trying to eat and every time here's the spoon and it's, you know, it's like, yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's like, I'm just trying to, can I, shh, you know? That's why you see, uh, we, we, uh, you'll see brothers, we do it as well. We move to uh, quiet locations. Just to have, so the word can, oh, so go freely. Yeah, yep. You know? Yep, that's right. All yeah, right. It's free course, man. Yep. Verse 5, and it says, And the saying pleased the whole multitude. The whole group was pleased with the apostles' proposal. Right. The camp, see? So that means when orders go out, we apply what was said. Right. You know? We're in Jerusalem now on YouTube. And they chose Stephen. A man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, mm. and Philip, and Procurus, and uh, and Nicanor, and Timon, uh, uh, Timon, excuse me, and uh, and Firminus and Nicholas. And right. So these men, these men are being uh, named. Their their camp channel, their camps being mentioned. Right. You know, their channels are being mentioned. Right. Keep going. And it says, uh, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, which proselyte means a new believer. Yep. Whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. Oh, Stephen in the blue letter means crowned. That's amazing. Yep. And it says, one of the seven deacons in Jerusalem and the first Christian martyr. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, pertaining to us, uh, Acts, uh, Acts 7. So uh, the first Christian uh, martyr was from Jerusalem. Wow. So what does that tell you? Yep. So that, that means he had to be an Israelite. See? That's right, more than likely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it says verse seven. Well, he is an Israelite. Right, he is, right, he is. Yeah, right. but as the aspect of being questioned now, yeah. you know, people don't take that consideration about Stephen's nationality. And mm -hmm. it's like, wait a minute, where's Acts 6 being talked about? Right. When you go into Acts, what do you say? Wait in Jerusalem. People don't even apply when they read Acts. They're not even thinking, wait a minute, these are Israelites in Jerusalem right now. Right. They, they, they say, you know what I mean, uh, 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 Brett in uh, uh, New Orleans or somewhere. This is, this is taking place in a specific land with a specific people, you know? And it says, and the word of the Most High uh, increased, right? J uh, j uh, j just like today. Mm -hmm. You know, the, uh, you know, you, you got brothers and sisters always waking up yep. e each and every day. Yep. Right? It says that, you know, this gospel shall be preached unto the ends of the world, then shall the end come. Yep. Right? 
and the word of the Most High increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied. And that's why Esau is panicking. Mm -hmm. You know, he's panicking, finicky, you know, because he knows that his kingdom is going down because he can't stop this word. Yep. You no, know, this is all the, uh, the the great miracles and wonders of Yahweh Shemal Shai. That's why there's so much opposition against it. And we're, we're seeing this opposition within and without because it's the same thing taking place when we were rebuilding the second temple. That's right. You know, you had uh, um, you had heathens that wanted to build with us. Mm -hmm. Nope, we got no place for you. And then you got Jake's that um, uh, weren't in agreement as well. So that's just like right now. We're literally watching everything play out right now. Yes. You know, because the elect now is the third temple. So the third temple's being rebuilt. So there's going to be a pushback to the process of that building. That's why Apostle Paul said, uh, it's in the GNT, but he said, I have perfected um, the, uh, the, my uh, building. That's why he yeah. referred to Yahweh Shai as yep. the foundation. Right. So Yahweh Shai is the foundation. The, um, the brothers are the body, which is the building that's taking place because we're the temple. That's right. So when you, when you go and see what happened uh, sir, uh, pertaining around the, uh, the second temple, and you compare it to the third temple, you see why everything's happening. Right. You know? That's right. Yep. And it says, verse 7, and the number of the disciples multiplied mm. in Jerusalem. That, great, see? Great, right. See? Right. So you're reading Jerusalem. this, you're not even thinking, if you have a Babylonian Christian mindset reading this, because don't they love the New Testament? Oh, yeah. But you're not, uh, you're not identifying that these are all Israelites that are also being referred to as uh, Christian believers. Right. Stephen is being referred to as the first Christian martyr. And where was this? Uh, where where did this martyring take place in? In Jerusalem, amongst Israelites, you know. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Woo! See, so you had priests as well. That's right. You should know the truth, and, and uh, the truth shall set you free. Right. The, and and when you go into John eight, you had a lot of Israelites in the temple that was giving Yahweh Shai pushback, but also in the temple you had some that believed. This is John 8 and um, verse 30. It says, as he spake these words, many believed on him. That's right. But where are they? They're in the temple amongst the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So this proves that you're going to have brothers uh, like Apostle Paul that are all about the law, like these other camps push, but you're going to have believers amongst them, and they're going to come out of that because of belief in Yahweh Shai right. over the law. Which, check this out in Romans 9 in the GNT. This is a cold cut. Now, Romans 9 in the GNT, it's titled, Israel and the Gospel. This is Romans 9 and 30. Like that. It says, so we say that the Gentiles who were not trying to put themselves right with Yahweh, were put right with him through faith, mm, right? Through the faith. Israelite foreigners, while y while Yahweh's people, meaning the Israelites that knew they were Israelites, right? While Yahweh's people who were seeking a law that would put them right with Yahweh. Mm. So you have right now right. Jake saying, come back to the law, as insinuating you coming back to just the law right. is you getting closer to the Lord. That's not the case. Because Abraham was 99 and uncircumcised when the Lord dealt with him. The Lord uh, heard our cries in Egypt before he gave us the law yep. in the wilderness. That's right. So the Lord uh, is dealing with his people uh, even without them having the law first. Okay? That's right. And it says, um, hence why it said uh, uh, Jews that spoke Greek, Grecians. Yes. They were believers, but yep. they didn't have the law. Right. They were in Jerusalem, you know? And it says, um, who were seeking a law that would put them right with the Most High, did not find it. So like we were saying earlier, missing the mark. Right. Yep. So that's mm -hmm. a scary thing that you have access to where the mark is, but you miss it. That's you right. know? That's right. It's like you missed the jump shot. Yeah. A game winner at that. But then the grace is you going to the foul line. Right. But it's still fourth quarter. Right. And you're down, you're down one. So if you miss this uh, uh, free throw, that's it. Game over, as they would say, right? And it says, um, and why not? Because they did not depend on faith, but on what they did. Oh, wow. See? The that's works. A, that's a cut. Right, the works of the law, right. And it says, um, uh, and so they stumbled 
over the stumbling stone that the scriptures speak of. And that's your shot. I will lay in Zion a stumbling, a rock of offense. Rock of offense. See that? You know? Uh, real quick, I got a quick one. And if you know about anything dealing with um, uh, building and uh, foundation, if you're if you're digging and you have a stone that's in the way where you have to have construction, oh, yeah. it could be very uh, difficult yeah. to build correctly if that stone is in the way. You see, so they were trying to uh, uh, get a, get you know they were they were stumbling at this stone. You were supposed to build off that stone, right? You know, right. Uh, real quick, uh, going back to uh, about faith. Yeah. This is uh, Romans uh, uh, 3. I'm going to read from 27 to verse 30. Uh, Romans 3 and 27, it says, Where is boasting then? It is excluded by what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Mm. Therefore, we can, so, so there's a law of faith. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and faith, uh, uh, you know, um, supersedes, you know, the, uh, uh, um, the law, you know, the works of the law. It says, therefore, we conclude that a man... Well, what proves that is because at the end of the day, everything's predestination. Yes. Right, you know, right. so uh, the elect's the elect, you know. You look at the male factor. He was on the cross, yeah. you know. You have Israelites that never applied the law their whole life. Yeah. And then they're able to believe last minute, you know. That's powerful, man. Because of their faith. That's right. He said, today you'll be with me in paradise. Ooh, and uh, Deacon Akash said... That means, nigga, today you're going to be in the spirit world. I remember that. He said that. Mm -mm. He said that. That's yep. terrible. He said that. And it says, um, verse 28, Therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith Woo! without the deeds of the law. Is he the, is he the, the God of the Jews only? Is, is he not only of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles only. Who, what Gentiles? The Israelite Gentiles that were, you know, uh, um, doing, uh, you know, uh, heathenistic things. You know, well, why is Paul emphasizing this? Because you have Israelites that were looking at the um, the the act of acceptance just by the law. So that's why he had to say, is he not the God of the Gentiles as well? Right. Because they because you got to realize when you're reading the scriptures, you're reading letters that are more like a response. Yeah. My response to great millstone. Right. My response to the Pharisees. See, so the, the, when, you, when Christians talk about context, you have to truly understand the context of the Bible in itself. And then within that, there's in particular situations. That's why people stumble now, because Paul's letters, depending on uh, who he was writing to, the response would be different. Yeah. Yep. See? So the Bible doesn't contradict itself. Which, what you're trying to do is you're trying to lump it all into one conversation, mm -hmm. you know? And it says because you're getting you could be getting asked different questions, right? Like cops do that. Yeah. You'll have two cops, and one cop will ask you this, and immediately he's asked. So you you may respond to him, but then he's asked. So now your response is different over here. Right. You know. Exactly. Right. But you got to know right. the context of the question. Right. That's why Christians, you know, they get it twisted. You know, you know, um, once once it comes to Paul's letters, mm -hmm. you know. And it says, uh, verse twenty nine. It says, "Is not is he not only the of the excuse me." Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also, seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith. Mm. And, and the circumcision meaning what? The law. Right. And uh, the circumcision goes back starting with who? Abraham. Okay. And it says, and, uh, and uncircumcision through faith. Do we, uh, do we then make void the law through faith? The Most High forbid, yea, we establish the so law. So why is he saying that? Because he's like, listen. You're still tripped up on the law. No one's not saying we're not living by the law, but how do we get to these people that are lawless right now? Right. We got to get to them through the Lord. You can't get to lost Jake's by just the law, you know? Yeah. Jake don't even live by the law here in Babylon. Yeah. You know? That's true. You Wrong bait. You know, rookie mistake. Yeah, man. So back uh, in Acts? Yeah, back in Acts 6 and verse, um, or is that verse? I'll start 7 again. It says, in the word of the Most High increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem. In Jerusalem. See that? So uh, within Israel. Keep going. It says, greatly. And then that's why Apostle Paul uh, was raised up, so he could be a defender of the brothers and sisters that weren't in Jerusalem, but believed in Yahweh Shai, but weren't allowed to uh, be accepted in. Right. So he had to yeah. go to them. Because the, uh, the the Israelites that knew who they were, they weren't 
worrying about the Israelites scattered abroad amongst the dispersed. Right, right. You know? Right. You can't be doing that. That's why you got, uh, like now, they'll reject certain brothers or sisters because the way they look. Yeah. That's, a, that's, that's the same thing. Yeah. That's the Gentiles. Just like today. You know? Just, Where's your fringes at? Yep. Yep. Come on, man. It's the same thing. We're on captivity. Yep. Come on. It says, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Beautiful. And Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Mm. So the miracles are coming. That's right. You know, and miracles are going to happen through the name, not the law. You know? That's right. That's right. Man. You know? For real. Because oh, I stopped eating pork and right. now I performed a miracle. Now I can fly. Yeah, no. No. Nope. No. Nope. Don't work like that. Mm -mm. Verse 8, and it says, uh, excuse me, verse 9. The then Lord the could have a miracle happen and a brother might not be wearing fringes. <laughs> yeah. You know? For real. So then that's going to be a, a, a huge cut. For real. And then what's heavy is all this stuff's happening. And this was right before, uh, this is right after the angel visited the brothers in L.A. Yeah. So it's like that proves yeah. that the angel went back with a report. Yeah. You know? Wow. Most definitely. Because one angel, I think Uriel, he said, I'm the one that brings uh, the prayers before the father. Yep. Or, mm -hmm. or, or, or uh, Raphael. Yeah, Raphael. Yep. So there's conversations yeah. that are happening in the heavens based off what's uh, being observed here in earth. You know? Man. And it says, uh, and Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the Libertines. Right, the freely uh, 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 freed slaves. Let me see, in the NLT it says that. Mm. Matter of fact, let's go into the blue letter and see what it says real quick. Uh, can you read that from the top again? Yes, this is Acts 6 and verse 9. Then there arose certain of the synagogue, which is called the synagogue of the, uh, 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 of the Libertines and Cyrenians and Alexandrians, uh -oh. Alexandria, Egypt, and of them of Sicilia and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. See, so these are Israelites that know they're Israelites, and they came out to debate with him. <laughs> just like, just exactly with Assad. Exactly. You know, you're you're uh, coming up against a uh, an uh, iron pillar. And let me say know? this: if you go on the Elder Karatazaba from Baltimore Bible's Defender, mm -hmm. when he did a lesson on it. The brother from the, one of the brothers, if I'm not mistaken, from the Raleigh camp, he said Hassad came up super edged up and some of the men with him uh, had guns. Oh, shit. Yep. Matter of fact, I'll go to it. Oh, shit. Let me, yep. Let me, matter of fact, because that about the law, we're going to show you. They walk around with guns, man. Yeah, and going it, to the brothers says with the it. angels are around us protecting us. We need guns for it. Right. So, uh, real on, quick, man. and then I also want to go to the uh, commentary. So, this video... Right here, okay. It's uh, it's it's uh, right here. Here's the video. Now let's go to the. Now check this out. So I clicked, uh, I clicked on it right here. This is uh, Karab Yasharala uh, 3.0. Right there's his statement, and I'm gonna read it for you. It says Hassad's whole entourage had. Okay, I misspoke. Hassad, which he is edged up too. Hassad's whole entourage had edge ups and and lineups and some with gats. <laughs> so, what you coming up to brothers asking a question about Ezekiel 38 and why are you toting guns? Well, we, we, I mean, maybe, I don't know the, the gun laws, you know, maybe that's a normal down there, right. but you're going up to the brothers. You couldn't leave it in the car, right? you know? You couldn't put it in the trunk. That has a stigma, you know, it poses a threat. Ex thank you. you. Know? Exactly. Why, why do you think cops, you know, pull out guns when, when they, you know, see somebody with a gun? You talking to somebody like in a movie, and he's not pointing a gun at you, but he's like, yeah, I don't know about that. But he's, he's scratching right. his head with his head. Yeah. Like, yo, yeah. hold on, man. I ain't that much patience left. You're right. <laughs> so what was that, Acts 6 and 9? Yeah. So when you go into the commentary uh, for Acts 6 and 9, uh, let's just see what the, the blue letter uh, says. Right here, it says, um, uh, it says, there is a small textual dispute as to whether Luke's original text, okay, but not that one. Here it is. Disputing with Stephen. Stephen debated, <laughs> and it, they brought the debate, though. Yeah. We're defending. Right, that's the We're defending. You brought the debate. It says, debated with the Jews from the synagogue of freed men. Mm. Oh, so that, that's another precept to show you that uh, Israel was scattered abroad. Right. It said yep. Asia, 
Sicilia, Alexandrian, and Cyrenian. So you have to understand, oh, these are Gentiles. Right. You have to understand right. that just because it says they're Alexandrian, that does not mean they're not Israelites. Right. People call me black, but that don't mean that's my nationality. Right. You know? Yep. Um, it says, empowered by the Holy Spirit, he showed greater wisdom than his opponents. Mm. They were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. And by what spirit? The Holy Spirit. You see? Because, because, because that's how Yahweh Shemal Shai is speaking, you know, through us, man. It says, there is no indication that Stephan in himself was smarter, better. Uh, um, can you get that Corinthians? Um, oh, the weak things. Got you. Yep. It says, uh, in himself was smarter, better, better educated. Yahweh Shai said, uh, I think it's Matthew 11 and 20. You revealed this unto babes, mm -hmm. you know. It says, or a better debater than these Jews, we should attribute his upper hand and debate to the spirit by which he spoke. So that's why we have an upper hand against you guys. Right. You guys are using the law to have an upper hand in your studying. But uh, ultimately, um, Luke 21 and 15, for I have given you a mouth that your adversaries can't gainsay or resist. Okay? So it's Yahweh Basham El Shai that's given us the ability to have the upper hand on these guys. So for brothers out there, younger brothers, you shouldn't ever have to have a spirit or a thought cross your mind. Oh man, that guy might, he might have more, no more than me. Right. They can have all the debates and all they want in the world, but Hassad, I've seen him confound and cut many people uh, pertaining to uh, uh, certain topics in the scriptures. But when he came up to their brothers, he did not have the upper hand nope. because he doesn't have the Holy Spirit. That's right. So this is a that's beautiful, right. Um, chapter that we're reading right now pertaining to the time that we're in. That's right. So then we're going to be going into Act 7 uh, uh, within this week. This is what's happening right now. Literally. We, we, uh, we are in the book of Acts all over again. <laughs> Truly. And then it says, those from Sicilia, the mention of Sicilia suggests this may have been Paul's synagogue before he converted. Oh, wow. He wow. came from Tarsus in Sicilia. See? You got to know the backstory, man. That's amazing. So they may have been, um, and remember, and that proves why Paul was at Stephen's uh, uh, murder. Oh, right, right. Oh, so, yeah. So their teaching right. was based off Man, the Pharisees. Full circle. So they were, wow. going, they were going against him pertaining to the law. Wow. Full That's circle. amazing. It is amazing. I got that for you. And that shows you it's a very dangerous thing for us as Israelites to go and have face-to-face, one-on-one debates with other Israelites. That's why... Hey, I'm very thankful for our uh, elders and leadership. They told us not to go up to these guys. Yeah. You know, because yeah. some could. So they're preserving us through wisdom because some could break out. Yeah. Uh, uh, I.E. I.C.P.K. I.U.C. -I yeah. And that wasn't the first time that those they went again, uh, uh, at each other. There was another time mm. where they were uh, about to go to blows. Oh, see. Shit. So it's good that we stay over here. You know, yeah. so you really shouldn't be coming up to our camps, you know. You should let, leave us alone. Yeah. Leave us alone, man. Let us teach here. If we're filthy, let us be filthy. Exactly. Do you, do you, uh, do you eat food uh, sacrifice to idols? Stop trying to, stop trying to handle us like you do Jake's on the um, we want smoke debates. That's very fucking disrespectful, man. Right. Excuse my language, but it's extremely disrespectful yeah. for you to treat the sincere brothers of Great Millstone like you're treating some random Jake on a live video that you oh, click the link. Right. Don't treat us like if we click the link, man. Yeah. You came to our platform, just like Vocab does. That's why Yahweh Shai said, you have your father the devil. devil. That's right. I got that for you. This is uh, the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse um, I'll start 25. It says, because the foolishness of the Most High is wiser than men, and the weakness of the Most High is stronger than men. Yeah, we, we're actually looked at as foolish because we stand out on random streets. But you know what looks foolish to me? You standing outside of the uh, of a Super Bowl or a strip club. At night. Okay, or a Christian convention. Man. You know? Like yesterday before we went to camp, there was like some Christian, remember they were singing? Yeah. And I immediately thought, yeah. I said, you know, I didn't say nothing to you, but I said, you know how stupid it would be if me and you set up camp right uh, across the street from them? Very stupid. That's stupid. That won't be wise. No. Come it's on, all man. hot. You know? We're not in those times no more. You nope. know? And it says, verse 26. For, uh, for ye see your calling brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh. And what's that flesh? The law, the Pharisees, 
the studying of the, the, the scriptures, right. okay? Scholars, all right? Men that pride themselves in being an expert in the Torah. Right. Okay? Yep. Not many mighty, not many noble are called, but the Most High hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Boom! So Hassad is showing that he's the fool. Yes. But we're looked at as the fool. These other camps look at us like we're the foolish ones. Right. But our foolishness or us portrayed as foolishness is actually confounding those that are portraying to be the wise ones. You know? Right. And now what you're showing is you're the unwise virgin looking for oil. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. And it says, verse 28. It said, oh, excuse me, verse 27. And the Most High had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised. We're despised. Really We're despised. despised. Okay? Sakari's not despised. Deacon and Kai, you are not despised. Okay? We are despised. Oh, you're great. Millstone? Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Shit, like, yeah. we're not over here fighting for views yeah. or, or believers. Yeah. We have faith and understand that if the Lord's dealing with you, that's all that matters. It's the Lord's movie, you know? That's right. And it says... Have the most high chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Boom. That's Beautiful. Right. So that's the whole uh, 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 census, as they would say. That's the whole nutshell of this ministry that we're uh, involved in. That's right. This ministry of ours, like Elder Apostle Gabar always tells us. That's okay? Right. And this is ours. And we have the authority to say that. That's and right. it ain't up for debate. Okay? So let's go back. For real. Back in Acts chapter uh, 6 and verse 10. And it says, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. I will give you a mouth that your adversaries can't gain, say, or resist. You gotta get it because you keep saying it. You know? Yep. This is the book of Luke. It's like the, the Jake in Madison Society when he was talking to Cain and Log Dog. It says <laughs> in the Bible, thou shalt not kill. Yeah, he's right, though. <laughs> right. Yep. And, it, and, and they couldn't say shit. Nope. This is the book of Luke, chapter 21, and verse uh, 15. Uh, 15. Yep. Or Quince, All right. right, for our northern brothers. And this is in red letter. It there says, for I, Yahweh Shai. See, that proves that Yahweh Shai is speaking through us. Yep, exactly. Right? Exactly. You know? That's why we're always praying. See, they guys are puffed up with knowledge. Exactly. That's why they go out and speak. Exactly. Because they have knowledge. Right. But that's the only, but then they only all they do is talk about the same collective thing. And that's why they don't fucking prophesy. Exactly. You know? Because they don't have the mouth. Exactly. Excuse my language. Yeah. You know? yeah. And that's why and that's why it says in Revelation, um, the uh the the uh, the, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the, the test point. What does it say? Let me get it. I'm sorry. I know we're going everywhere right now. I'm sorry. This is Revelation chapter 19. And verse 10, and it says, uh, just real quick, it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And that's what they lack. You know, uh, ultimately they lack the Holy Spirit, so that's why they're not prophesying, which is the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Well, this whole thing kicked off because he attempted to prophesy. Right. The whole, this whole debacle, you know? Uh, Luke 21, 15. Uh, real quick. So I like it. No, no. Um, wisdom of Solomon 10 and 21. For wisdom opened the mouth of mm. the dumb and made the Ooh. tongues of them that cannot speak eloquent. Mm. See? So that's, the Lord will use uh, uh, us, us young men. Right. You know, us feeble brothers. You know, us uh, 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 unlearned, quote unquote, in your eyes. You know? That's right. And and to speak eloquently and ultimately to confound you. That's right. You see? It's very simple. It's like uh when Rocky fought Drago, Rocky or Drago had all this advanced technology. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and Rocky was just carrying the logs. Yeah. He was in the snow. Yep. He was doing pull-ups. Yep. You know, the basics. So sticking with the milk and the basics is what's gonna get you where you need to go. Com oh, going back, working out. When you look at working out. You, you want to hit the, the cables and, and the bench press and you're taking all these supplements, you know, and you really you really ain't on one. But the, the men that do the pull-ups and the chin-ups and the calisthenics and the sit-ups, oh, yeah. they are the ones yeah. where you're like, yo, that, wow. Yeah. See? <laughs> so it's like us sticking with Yahweh Shai, this foundation, it's going to always trump the, the guys that are scholastically and all these books yeah. and lessons and 
um, miles of hours of debates ain't going to get you nowhere, man. Right. If the Lord ultimately ain't dealing with you. Right. And that's what's being proven right here with Stephan. And it says in the commentary that many debated from Sicilia potentially could have been of the teachings of Saul. Ooh. And they got confounded. Come on, man. Which then led to Apostle Paul uh, getting in the ministry. So that shows us uh, uh, within this edification can always come out. And I was going to read this earlier. Okay, so you can feel the spirit now. You know, you can feel the inspiration. Cooking with grease now. Right. Right. And, and you know, it's been really heavy on my spirit lately. Like, and I, I speak as a man, but like the Lord is doing this because he's only uh, uh, showing us the sincere. That's right. But if we had, like, Elder Pastor years ago, he had the video, White Woman Bows, yeah, and yeah. Kisses Boo at GM, and yeah. that thing went viral. Yeah, I remember and that. it was a trap. So it showed you that not everybody uh, was sincere to watch. So these videos only go for the sincere, That's man. Right. And there's some gems that are coming out in this, you know? So uh, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8, mm. um, excuse me, 2 Corinthians 13 and 8, for we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. So with us reading about uh, Stephan uh, in Acts 6, and even though we're telling you we're not debating, but what, what comes out of that is there's still edification that can come from it, though. That's right. So with us defending and you debating, you still can't stop this, and it still can lead to believers. Right. You know? Locked up, not locked up, lesson, not do, you know, it's still leading towards uh, uh, the kingdom. That's right. You know, but debating ain't what's going to get us to the kingdom. But even within those schisms, the spirit can always reverse it yeah. to, the, to, to the better men of us. And that's one thing, too. Debating keeps you in, in this, this small ass bubble. Like, yeah. look at the bigger picture of prophecy. Yeah. Esau's worse, and then we yep. about to get delivered. Yeah. Why are you debating about something that's not in the, the scriptures? Right. You know, debating at all. So I'll give you more information. That was it. Okay. Back in Luke 21 and verse 15. It says, for I will give you a mouth and a wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. And the adversaries, and when you read in the scriptures, guess who the adversaries is? Jake. Yep. Okay. The adversaries that Yahweh Shai dealt with. The only time that we read about Yahweh Shai in Edomites is when um, he got brought to the uh, uh, Romans. Yeah. You know, and the Herodians. Yep. Okay. Pilate, things of that nature, you know. Right. Which even himself said, I'm clean. Yeah. So we don't yeah. even know if he was an Edomite. Because why would an Edomite say that? But my yeah. point is, I'm, the point that I'm uh, expressing is, when you're reading the scriptures, the adversaries, the pushback, the enemies to the gospel in the beginning were uh, Israelites. Yes. You know? Yes. And it says, um, verse 6. I'm not just like it. Acts 6 and verse 11. And uh, then they uh, sub Then they... How you say that word? Like uh, suborned. The water. Then they suborned men, which said, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against the Most High. So they so they bear a false witness, right? It says, uh, GNT, it says, um, uh, verse 9, but he was opposed by some men who were members of the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called. So like you have um, uh, free servants of Yahweh Shai. Right. That right. so these are camp right. names. Right. Oh, right. You right. see what I mean? So you're reading men with camp names. Like these offshoot camps. Exactly. <laughs> so Paul came from an right. offshoot camp. You know? It says, which had Jews from Cyrene and Alexandria. And it says they and other Jews from provinces of Sicilia and Asia. Mm, yep. So this is a cut that we can use to show you that Israelites were scattered abroad. Right. It says started arguing with Stephan. But the spirit gave Stephan such wisdom that when he spoke, they could not refute him. So they bribed some men to say. See? So they bribed men to lie, man. Come on, So man. that shows you guys will go to the ultimate low to gain a uh, debatable advantage over you. Mm -hmm. You know? Bearing false witness. Yep, that's plain dirty, man. Yeah. That's what Esau do. Yep. Esau will bribe somebody to, to uh, throw a fight. Yep. Come on, man. Yep. That's why he says he already fathered the devil. Yep. So, my bad. You got no, it, that's bro. it. Okay. Back in uh, Acts 6 and verse 11. And it says, we have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against the Most High. You're lying. Come on. Come on, man. Verse 12. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes. And the teachers. And it came upon him. 
and called him and brought him to the council. Mm. And that's why, like you said earlier, we not we we, uh, we are not supposed to go to these camps. No, because they can do the same shit to us. They'll do they'll do to us what they did to ISBK. Come on, man. He said, "Get off my chest, hoe ass nigga." <laughs> like, bro, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to have me and a brother laid out. Three hundred pound you know, tonight. You know the, the the garment on my face. Come on, man. And now we got to report in what happened. No. Come on. Now it said they brought him to council. Yes. Yep. Verse, this, verse twelve. Okay. This is uh, this is Matthew's ten. This is Matthew's 10 and um Ooh, good one. Uh, this is Matthew's 10 and 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Those are wolves, man. That's right. You know, those are those are those are literally wolves. You know how I many uh, uh Israelites that are teachers and off camps where they'll actually have uh like wolves behind them? Wow. And it's like, hey, you know, you know that that looks like what Yahweh Shai said right. we'd be up against. Right. Grievous wolves. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know. You got the wolf on the garment, but it's it's, yeah. it's howling. Yeah. But the wolves that they got, it's kind of like, like oh shit. All right. You know. Because right, Benjamin is the waving the rope. Exactly. But, that, but that's a whole different exactly context. But they're thinking like that too. Right. But what it's showing is this context. Right. And it says, it's like it. yeah, because of your actions. Yes. Because of your intentions. Exactly. Okay. Because of your motives. And you see. Yep. And what's, what's a wolf do? It tears up sheep, mm -hmm. tears them up bad. Yes. It says, Matthews 10 and 16, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. So Stephan was a sheep in the midst of wolves. Yes. But, uh, and that's why it also says, ye are prey. Okay? That's right. And it says, but beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. Right, like it just said. Right? And they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. Paul went through that. For the testimony against them and the Gentiles. Wow. But when yeah. they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak. For it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. Mm. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of the Father which speaketh in you. Mm. So we're reading an account of what Yahweh Shai prophesied would happen to his men and the, what would come with the teachings of that. That's right. Okay? So now let's go back. Uh, back in Acts 6 and verse uh, 13. Yes. And it says, And set up false witnesses, which said, This man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. See, come on, man. That's all they're about, bro. Come on. The law, the fringes. Oh, what is the elder yes uh, uh elder apostle ram love say the laws the statutes <laughs> and the commandments <laughs> yeah, yeah we're dealing with yeah. the same men that we're reading about back then we're dealing with it now literally you don't yeah. see this you don't see this playing out with christians you don't see at that all. bro you don't see that playing out with them at all man it's amazing right it's amazing through the good bad and the ugly yes you know yes and it says, and set up false witnesses, uh, which said, this man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against his holy place and the law. And I, and I go to show that the Lord has, uh, uh, you know, uh, blocked them off from getting, you know, the Holy Spirit ultimately. Mm -hmm. From, from uh, receiving the, the, you know, the dark sayings and, and everything that's of Yahweh Shai. Yep. You know? Yep. The secrets, yep. if you will. Because uh, what was set up for their welfare has mm -hmm. now become a, a trap under them. Yep. You know, That's and, scary. and then Isaiah, it says, um oh, Isaiah six. Yeah, their eyes and ears. Yep. But um snag that for me Okay. Too. Well, let's just get the one in uh what King David said. Because we're about uh, to wrap it up. See. Uh it says uh snare and trap. It was for their welfare. Yeah. It says Psalm 69 and 22. Gotcha. And I'll check it out in the GNT real quick. Psalm 69 and 22. You want the KJV first? Well, um, let's see. Psalm 69 and 22, it says, uh, May their banquets cause their ruin. May their sacred feasts cause their downfall. Yeah, read that and... Uh, okay, yeah. got you. This is the book of Psalms. <laughs> what? Psalms uh, 69. 69 and verse 22. Yeah, what's that say? Okay, so, oh, got it. Yeah. It says, let their table. Where you would have the banquet. Right. Right. Become a snare before them. Yeah. And that which have, and that which should have been for their welfare. Yahweh Shai. Let it become a trap. Yeah. So this, this truth 
you waking up is uh, either for your deliverance or destruction. Ooh. Now keep reading. All right, here, got you. 23 says, let their eyes be darkened. So, see? Just like Isaiah 6. Exactly. That's why I say, that's, I speak as a man, but I'm like, when you read what King David's prayer was, his psalm, I'm like, this got fulfilled through uh, Isaiah's prophecy. Yeah. So it's like the Lord fulfilled what King David was praying in the prophecy of Isaiah. Right. He said, blind them. Right. You know? And it says, let their eyes be darkened see? that they not see. See? Strike them with blindness. That uh, that they see not and make their loins continually to, uh, to shake. Keep going. Pour out thy indignation upon them. Yeah, that's why we put curses on Jake. And let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Keep going. The niggas are tripping, man. Yep. It says, let their habitation be desolate. That's what this says. Yeah. It says, make their camps be left deserted. Oh, shit. See, oh, look what's going on right now with Sakari. Everybody's leaving that shit, Make man. their camps be left deserted. May no one be left alive in their tents. Man. And what did Gamilio say? He said, if this council be of men, it, it will, will come, come to, to naught. Come on, man. And it says, and let none dwell in their tents. That's right. That was it. That was, okay. So back in Woo! Acts. Hey, man, that's scary. 6 and 13 again? Yes. Acts 6 and 13. And set up false witnesses, which said, this man ceaseth not to speak blasphemous words against his holy place and the law. For we have heard him say, that this Yahweh of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. Woo! See, they couldn't get it. That's why you had to have Hebrews. Exactly. The, the changing of the law. Yes, and those guys in Sakari, you know, the ones that are crazy, like Hassad, right? You know, they don't think that uh, Paul's letters are canon. You know? Yeah, that's and, you know, crazy. In the book of Hebrews. What? Real quick. Come on, man. Hebrews 7 and 12, for the priesthood being changed... Change. There is made of necessity a change also of the law. This is why they uh, murdered Paul. Yep. But then the Lord brought him back. Yep. And it says, check this out. It says, um, in a necessity, a change also of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaineth to another tribe of which no man gave attendance at the altar. Meaning only the Levites uh, uh, went to the altar to do the performance of the sacrifice. But what Apostle Paul is, is letting it be known is Yahweh Shai is our high priest now, right. and we're not under Levitical priesthood no more, hence why we're under grace. Right, right. And it says, for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, which tribe Moses spank nothing concerning the priesthood, right. which that's the context of Hebrews 7 and 14, as Apostle Paul is making a clear distinction that the priesthood changed, and it changed through Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is of Judah. That's right. You know? That's right. And it says... But he's also Shiloh. That, oh, that, that's right. The lawgiver. Yeah. Ooh, that's right. Right. Man. And it says, And shall change the customs which Moses delivered us. He said, he said, he said, the law's done away with, man. See? He said, he said, he ain't got fringes. Right. That's why they're like this. And that's one thing, too. If, if you like the Holy Spirit, then you're not going to understand prophecy. You know, because prophecy is like that glitch in the matrix. You know, it's like, it's like that... You know that uh, it's that car crash on yeah. the perfect road. Yeah, man. It's it's the it's the roads perfect, no potholes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and and then one day, uh, a car crash happens. Mm -hmm. But it was told to you that this would happen one day, but you said there's no way because I have everything mapped out perfectly. Exactly. But you not what you fail to realize is something called the Lord's will. That's right. So Jake uses the law, and they forget the Lord's will. Yeah. That's a scary thing. Yes. That debate spirit, the, yes. the, just being in the Torah, you're, 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 that's why he said, uh, a, uh, Moses wrote of me. Right. You know? So it's like he was trying to win them over per se. So you keep talking about Moses. Well, Moses wrote of me. Right. You know? And then he said, uh, 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 you talking about being of the father, uh, Abraham is your father. Well, I was before Abraham. Right. And then they right. wanted to stone him. Come on. So man. he had to dip out the temple. Man. And you know why Jake don't believe? Cause, cause you're hearing the truth. That's why I said they don't believe because I'm telling you the truth. That's right. So if I tell you a lie, you'll believe that. But if I tell you the truth, you'll question it. You see? Ridiculous. Uh, back in Acts 6 and verse 15, and it says, And all that sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him. Yeah, like this. Right, right. I'm talking shit. Yep. Probably. Demons all in their head. Yeah, like that. That's why you have a shot. Uh, this is a council 
we, this is why he called him the synagogue of Satan. Right. That, that Stefan was before Satan, man. Man. You know? Let's let's get that real quick. Rev two. Man. He's before us. Stefan is before Satan right and now. You know what's funny? Right here in verse nine it says, Then there arose searching of the synagogue. See? <laughs> uh, right, right here. Yo, Revelations two and nine, I know thy works and tribulation. They, they seized him. Right. You know what I mean? You know that. Yeah. That like wrestler grab. Yeah. They, they, oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> like damn right so then it says i know thy works and i know your work i know you're going out and traveling doing the camps doing the lessons praying to stay in the spirit i know what you're going through and i know your tribulation i know they're calling you grapists right. i know they put some of you to death i know they've done this to you i know they did that i know they bother you it says right. and poverty i know that i know you're barely getting by i know your car's jacked up i know you're late on rent you know i know that you're content I know that they drive by with a license plate that says Judah 144. Yes. I know that. Yes. Trust me. And it says, um, uh, yeah. in poverty, but thou art rich because of the faith. Rich in faith. The wisdom. That's right. The Holy Spirit. That's right. Which can't be bought. Simon tried to buy it. Yep. Which we're going to get that in the, the next sit down after Acts 7. We'll be in Acts 8 yep. with Philip and Simon the sorcerer. So that's going to bring up more edification. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, wow. And it says, um... Uh, and I know the blasphemy. They say he's he's speaking blasphemous. Right. No, right. you're the blasphemers. So it says, and I know the blasphemy of them would say they are Judah, or are uh, Israel, uh, Israelati, uh, Israelitis. I was trying to uh, uh, Israelitis. It's a Spanish way you say it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Elder Apostle Ramla was yeah, saying yeah, it. Yeah. I said, oh, I gotta remember that. Yeah, they can't. Israelitis. Yeah. Um, Yasharala. You know, J E W S. I know that who, who's saying they're Judah. I know who's saying they're the prophets. I know, but guess what? I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Satan. So Satan's all these guys. That's why these guys are murdering the men of the Lord, man. Yes. So Stephen was before Satan at that synagogue or that council. Yes. All right? That was that's good heavy. against evil right there. That, yep, that's good against evil. Man. But but it was told through Yahweh Shai that this is what, what will you be dealing with. So he's aware of that synagogue. So now let's read that again. Yep. And that's the council he's standing before. You see? Uh, back in Acts 6 and verse 15, and it says, and all that sat in the council. At the synagogue. Looking, all this, all these Satanists. Right. Right? All these evil men. Right. You know? All these, that's right. They were all anti. Yep. You know? Exactly. Looking steadfastly on him. You know, me mugging Satan him. Satan looking at him. Come on, man. Satan's on these guys. These guys think that they're being moved through the spirit. You're being moved through Satan, man. You know? It says, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. Because of, because of his aura. You know, because of, of the Holy Spirit that was that was inside him. Uh, Ecclesiastes you know? 8 and 1. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm going to get that real quick. All right. This is uh, uh, Acts 6 and 15. It says, all those sitting in the council fixed their eyes on Stephen and saw that his face looked like the face of an angel. Ooh, I got it right here. Ecclesiastes 8 and verse uh, 1. And you got to remember, you're dealing, we're reading about men that partook in the um, crucifixion of Yahweh Shai. Yes, right. But you got it. And the legend right here says, the face of wisdom. This is the book, uh, the book of uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is as the wise man and who know the interpretation of a thing? They don't know the interpretation. I'm just asking a question. Okay, now I got another question. Do you eat food sacrificed to idols? Oh my goodness. That's what he literally said to the brothers. And they said, you know the answer. Come on, man. How disrespectful. It said. And weak. Yeah, very weak. Which shows that they really don't, they, they look strong to the unlearned, but they look weak to the learned. That's right. It says, a man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness, just like how Stephen was, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Mm, that's what happened. Yep. So that proves that Stephen had the wisdom of Yahweh Bashem El Shai and that council of Satan did not. That's right. And they were able to recognize that wisdom that, uh, in his face when they were staring at him before they uh, put him to death. That's right. So uh, we're going to end it there. That's, a, that's Acts chapter 6. So it's kind of like a cliffhanger. Uh, we'll be reading Acts uh, chapter 7 sometime this week. Adwan Ratazah. And uh, just continue to um, to edify, you know, uh, Lord willing, at the end of the day, through the Rakah Kodash. So right. 
Uh, we, we pray that you brothers and sisters were edified through the Holy Spirit like we were. And we just want to say, call hello. Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. We'd also like to give double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone that do well. Right. And we'd like to say peace and salutations to the Lord's elect. With that being said, Shalom. Shalom.